what are the ugliest Michael Jordan cards in existence, right? I'm talking about the worst depictions of Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, we've talked about the Skyview card, right? Everybody's familiar with the Skyview card. It's a really popular, really tough pack odds card that appears in the MJ hierarchy. But we've got to get really deep, deep into the dark recesses of, uh, of custom cards and some foreign cards from the 90s to really come to a conclusion of what the ugliest Michael Jordan cards of all time are. I am going to break it down for you. I've got a bunch of options for you today, and then I'm gonna give you my five ugliest Michael Jordan basketball cards in existence. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if I missed some cards. I don't know how you can let me know. You can put it in the comments, or you can just message me on Instagram with pictures, and maybe I'll do a Michael Jordan's ugliest basketball cards 2.0 revisited. Uh, enjoy the video, have a few laughs, and let's have some fun. PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. All right, here we go, let's do it. We're not gonna waste any time, I'm screen sharing. I've just got some great images. Special thank you to my good friend Josh Dawson, Stanley Siratinsky, Frankie Gonzalez, <coughs> who contributed and uh, sent me a couple of their cards that I could put together with some of my cards that I happen to have. Most of mine were derived from the Cross Country Collection, but uh, this was the brainchild of uh, Frankie and Stan and Josh, and uh, they thought it would be a funny video to do. We're always talking about our favorite Michael Jordan cards. Well, now we're gonna talk about the ugliest Michael Jordan cards out there. And I'm not even gonna show you Alien Jordan. I'm not even gonna show you the Hoops Skyview card that everybody thinks is the ugliest Michael Jordan card because it's not even close it's not even remotely on the radar in comparison to some of these other ones. So here we go, screen share, let's get cranking. Uh, card number one, <laughs> Del Color Del Chocolate LSL Rey Del Mate, 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 I don't know. 1990 Ediciones Este Michael Jordan Caricatas y Quistoretas. That is my best Spanish interpretation from taking three years in high school and forgetting every bit of it. It's a PSA 5. That does not look anything like Michael Jordan. That is going to be a recurring theme of the day. Uh, he has angel's wings on his back. That is way too light-skinned to be Michael Jordan. The nose is more Pippin than Jordan, uh, and the eyes are almost touching. This is uh, extremely creepy, no matter what your perspective is. Uh, leave it to, I'm going to guess this is Spanish. Uh, leave it to the Spaniards to come up with one of the ugliest Michael Jordan cards of all time. Look at the satellite dishes for ears. That is, uh, that is card number one uh, on our list. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, card number two, Grow Like a Pro. Um, it, Michael Jordan looks like a white guy. I don't know what else to say here. I wish I could, uh, let me see if I can make this screen bigger. There you go. Uh, Michael Jordan just looks like a white guy. It looks more like Rex Chapman than Michael Jordan. Rex Chapman in his later years when he went balding. Um, but that's it. Grow Like a Pro. They want you to eat from the four basic food groups, which by the way, uh, white bread and whole milk probably don't recommend that uh, as, uh, as the kind of nutrients you want to take in. But when I was a kid, those were two of the major food groups and people were telling you to eat the shit out of white carbs. So uh, we've learned a lot over the years. Anyway, uh, that's card number two. And again, these aren't, we're not getting to my top five yet. I'm going to do my top five at the end. Uh, this was a, a nice little uh, tidbit sent to us by Josh Dawson. Uh, a play on uh, the Cabbage Patch Kids, of course. If you're old enough like me, you remember Garbage Pail Kids. All right? I think Adam Bomb was one of the most valuable ones. I don't know too much about them. I just know that some kids in my class in fourth and fifth grade, I think this is probably around 84. It couldn't have been 86, 87, something like that. Maybe even 85. I don't know. Uh, I guess it had to be maybe later than that because uh, the Jordan was on here. But uh, that is a, a Jordan Cabbage Patch doll, unlicensed, of course, with it, the ball being dunked by his tongue. Interesting. Next, um, there's a couple of options uh, from the uh, Draw Your Own uh, card uh, deal. The Upper Deck did a Draw Your Own card and kids all around the world. Well, I just want to tell this kid, you suck at drawing. I don't know what else to say. That's terrible. Um, 
hopefully the kid's an accountant or an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer or something like that because he had no no hope of being an artist. Uh, and by the way, brown, red, and blue rays coming out of the sun, unacceptable. And by the way, blue shoes for Jordan? No, you know better. You know he's not wearing blue shoes. Of course not. Bad job, kid. Uh, this one is very special and near and dear to my heart. This one, is, he sort of stares right into your soul. Uh, number one, it's not Jordan. Again, super light skin version. Uh, it looks like he has like chicken pox or some type of, you know, skin condition or something like that. Almost like a cheetah Jordan. Um, looks absolutely nothing like him. It is a uh, AKA Air, his Airness, and MJ, a Michael Jordan. It looks like one of those Estrellas cards, the way it's shaped. It is die cut, but it's the rounded corners. It get, it's got some of his stats down here. Top score. Obviously, that makes me think that this might be foreign or, uh, you know, because we don't really call your, you know, career best points per game or your high score. We don't call it top score, but somebody called his 69 point game in the garden a top score. Uh, MVP, titles, finals. Um, he only had five MVPs at that point, um, which was, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so six titles. Yeah, they got it right. Okay, cool. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but this might keep me up at night, but this is not the worst. Keep, keep watching. Here we go. All right, moving on to the next one. That's Chris Middleton. I just wanted to put that in there. Ed David or Ed, Ed David, if you're from South Louisiana, Pacific Coast Sports Cards. Uh, that's Chris Middleton. That is definitely not Michael Jordan. Uh, next, we've got the other, the, the dark green parallel, the green PMG garbage pail kid, where he's dunking it uh, in the other direction with his tongue. And in this one, it's got bulls on his jersey. So somehow they swiped the license, or at least they flirted with licensing infringement. Uh, and then this one, where Jordan's wearing a purple toupee, he's got. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. Demon-like features. Uh, this is very demonic in nature. Uh, this is Nosferatu. This is the kind of stuff you don't show your kids if you want them to sleep at night and get to bed on time. That is creepy as shit. I don't know what the uh, sort of... Uh, I don't know the origin of who would put together even a custom card like this. Maybe you don't. You, maybe you just can't draw a great, you know, rendering of Jordan. But like this is a little bit extreme and a little bit disturbing. <laughs> so Jordan flying through the uh, forest, dunking in the goal, and a big gigantic face with what looks like a purple toupee and some elf ears uh, in the background. And then, of course, the only uh, the only real card that's going to be recognizable, a card that appears, uh, wait, does this appear in the MJ hierarchy? I should remember that. The Prism Jewel. Uh, there's big box, small box versions. Uh, they did not exactly go into a great deal of detail. Again, this also looks absolutely nothing like Michael Jordan. At least it kind of looks like uh, Michael Jordan's, you know, reverse rock the cradle, reverse dunk. Uh, but this, uh, this bust image of him right here is terrible in every way. This is the Prism Jewel sticker that everybody should be familiar with. And then another draw your own where he's got black scabs on his knees. He's got his little calf thing here. So this is better than the other one, but it's like if you're going to color the damn picture... Well, when you color his face, why are his, why are his arms colored, his legs are colored, his shoes, his uniform, the, even the ball is very well colored. Why wouldn't you color the, the guy's face? I don't understand. It's like if you're, maybe he was running out of time and got to submit your draw your own card to win the contest. And he won the contest because it's in an actual licensed upper deck MVP set. But uh, why wouldn't you just finish the face? Were you so out of time that you had to submit it without his face being drawn? Uh, and then I've got more. Another upper deck, draw your own. We've already looked at uh, big, big things to discuss right here. So this is Michael Jordan, Mr. Endorsement. This is a custom card. He's got a bag of McDonald's in this hand right here. He's wearing Hanes underwear. He's got a Gatorade jersey on. He's got a Wheaties box over here. And then there's a buttload of money in the background and uh, some guys in suits holding up contracts in the background. And, uh, and his tongue is out. And again, that looks nothing like Michael Jordan either. So uh, Mr. Endorsement with uh, four of uh, Michael Jordan's biggest uh, endorsement deals uh, shown on this rendering. We've got this uh, Glamour Shots that, uh, again, doesn't look anything like Michael Jordan. But his eyes are gazing lovingly into yours. And so it's just, you know, whenever I get into work and I'm having a rough day, I just prop this card up and I look into Michael's eyes and it kind of sets me at ease, right? I take a couple of deep breaths. I use the Wim Hof method. I stare. Jordan first of all how creepy is that right hand that is like the fattest fingers I've ever seen I'm guessing Jordan's fingers aren't that fat 
Um, but um, interesting uh, drawing nonetheless right here. Uh, looks nothing like Jordan, but he's got his Birmingham Barons hat on. Uh, we got this one. This was probably, you know, <clears throat> it doesn't look like a lot of thought was put into this. This is just the upper deck. You know, Jordan, he's in a space suit for some reason. This basketball was uh, the original basketball used in the YMCA by James Naismith. Um, that one's on there. This one's on here again. Is this Jordan or is this Lou Gossett Jr.? For you people who are old enough to remember who Lou Gossett Jr. is. Um, all red onesie wrestling outfit. I don't know what it is. Who knows? Uh, they didn't do Jordan any, uh, any you know, favors with those that thin shoulder, you know, his thin shoulders on this picture. I don't know what's going on. Bugs is spinning both balls on his head. Uh, this is a Looney Tunes card. Bugs, Bunny, Heroes. I guess that's a play on word for heroes. Um, with the uh, skyline in the background. Basically, this is the championship PMG. Uh, it's the Bugs Bunny version, the Looney Tunes version of the championship PMG with the skyline in the background, or maybe it's the high risers. Is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's the skylights. Maybe that's what it is, but that's definitely not Michael Jordan. First of all, his face looks like a 75-year-old black man, uh, and Michael Jordan uh, in 1993 was a much younger uh, much younger person, so they did not do Jordan any favors with that uh, that picture right there. Uh, we've got this one. This is actually not bad <laughs> if you compare it to the other ones. Of course, he's wearing some fake Jordans for some reason. His shoes aren't Jordans. Uh, they're like knockoff Jordans. They're supposed to look like Jordans, but those aren't Jordans. Um, <coughs> and then his face looks nothing like him, but it's got a little Picasso feel to it in the background or Monet or who was it that drew that uh, the Starry Night uh, thing? I don't know. I'm not artistic. This one I included because I thought it was odd because it features uh, Jordan uh, as a Chicago Blackhawks hockey player. It's got Jordan as a uh, team. USA soccer player uh, jumping in the air to maybe head the ball. It's got Jordan uh, wearing number 85 as a Chicago Bear receiver. Of course, Jordan in basketball, Jordan and Birmingham Barons. It's got a downhill uh, maybe slalom or maybe it's a speed skiing or whatever you call that downhill skiing. Uh, Jordan here and then Jordan golfing right here and then it's uh, you know there's so many of these great custom cards. All you needed to do to make a custom card was put cracked ice somewhere in it. If you could put Cracked ice somewhere in your card, you've got a custom card on your hands because like 80% of the custom cards from the 90s that featured Michael Jordan had cracked ice in it or this bedazzled gold bedazzled type lettering. Uh, we've got that one we've already looked at, the Draw Your Own. And then one of my very favorites, the first time I ever saw it was going through the Cross Country Collection. I did share this on Instagram, Superman Jordan. I don't know what, uh, what we decided the, uh, the name of this card should be. If it was an insert, it, it needs a name. What would the name be? Uh, but uh, but there's Jordan, uh, you know, bulge out in front and center, um, you know, wearing uh, wearing the tall boots in a skin tight bodysuit as the black Superman. Um, the background of this is what makes me think it's just horrible. Uh, like this is just an eyesore. It's just terrible. It's just diagonal orange and yellow. Uh, I, I don't know what's happening here. At least there's a basketball on the picture. You know, he's got that going for him. Uh, high flying Mike. Again, looks like some kind of freakish ghoul uh, in this picture. Uh, ball up front, tongue out. Uh, I think this card comes from the Mr. Endorsements uh, custom set as well. So does this one. The MJ uh, retirement card, farewell, where this looks obviously nothing like Michael Jordan either. How about this over here? What's the deal with this eyeball? What's happening with this eyeball? How about a lollipop up here in the top left? It's a bunch of microphones, but if you look closer, there's some weird shit going on in here with a lollipop and then a freaking random eyeball over here. Uh, and then uh, we've got the MJ retirement card number two, his roller coaster year where MJ is shooting dice uh, with some cracked out freaks over here on the right that are gambling with him. Uh, and uh, Jordan is really into it. So I'm not really sure what the purpose of that card was, but I'm going to give you my top five, okay? There's your, there's your sample. There's your buffet to choose from. I'm going to give you my top five in order. Ready? Number five is the uh, light skin, Pippin nose, satellite dish ear Jordan uh, from somewhere, I'm assuming somewhere in Spain. Uh, the Caricatas y Quistoretas. Uh, it's a PSA 5 version. I wonder how much that card's worth. Somebody look that up and tell me how much that card's worth. It's great about PSA, so there's probably a value on it, and it's a relatively recent PSA label, so they must grade that stupid thing. Uh, number two is my Mr. Endorsements. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit of credit here because Mr. Endorsements nailed it with the four big endorsers with the Wheaties, the Gatorade, the Hanes underwear, and the McDonald's bag uh, in his hand. So uh, he kind of nailed that one. Of course, you got Nike down here. I left 
left that one out. Maybe five big endorsers. It looks like there's a tag on this uh, Nike Air Jordan, uh, alleged Nike Air Jordan shoe down there, even though there's no licensing. Um, and so that's card number four. Card number three is a uh, creepy mugshot uh, light skin Jordan uh, with the skin condition. Looks nothing like him, uh, but staring right into ye, the very uh, bowels of your soul. Uh, retirement card number two, Jordan, with the cracked out, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that stuff? What do you call the stuff that uh, the, the hillbilly heroin, what's it called? Oxycontin. Looks like these dudes are on Oxycontin or some type of drug back here. Uh, Jordan's shooting dice and he just can't get enough and he is uh, slobbering all over everybody with a pointed forked demon tongue. That's card, uh, that's card number two. And then card number one, I went with, the, I don't even know where to start. In fact, I want to just stop this video right now because the more I look at it, the more certain I am that this is card number one. I am absolutely 100% certain this is card number one. And this, I think, was shared by the great Josh Dawson, a frequent guest of the show at Northeast Sports Cards. Here's the funny thing. When I told them, uh, you know, I sent them a couple cards. I was like, is this the ugliest Jordan you've ever seen? They're like, you should do a video of the ugliest Jordans ever. And then like two minutes later, Josh shot over images of like nine ridiculously weird Jordan cards. And I was like, did you... Did you have those set aside or do you look at them every day? Like what, who does that? Who has those cards like just in the holster ready to shoot over to me? Uh, but, uh, but Josh Dawson had it. So let me know if this is, <laughs> let me know if I chose, if I chose correctly or if I chose, uh, as they say in my, uh, in, uh, Indiana Jones and the, uh, quest for the Holy Grail, you chose poorly. Um, but anyway, that's it guys. Let me know what you think. Are those some of the ugliest Jordan cards you've ever seen? Hopefully you guys love this video. If there's any other ideas that you have out there, it doesn't have to be Jordan. Any other ideas? You want me to make any other content? I'm always open to suggestions. I'm always interested in soliciting and giving the people what they want. And I want to do some more videos. Uh, I love doing top 10 lists, top five lists, or the best of the best, or the worst of the worst. It doesn't have to be Jordan. It doesn't even have to be basketball cards. It could just be basketball. If you guys have any ideas of anything out there that you want me to do research-wise and put a video out on it, I'm always all ears. I appreciate you guys who stuck with me to the end of it. I'm sorry if you have trouble sleeping tonight. I had to share these images with you. I probably should have given at least a PG-13, maybe an R rating at the outset of this video so nobody's kids saw any of these images because they're going to have a really warped idea of what Michael Jordan was shaped like and looked like and more importantly, what his tongue, lips, nose, and eyes, and ears, and hair uh, looked like back in the 90s. So thank you guys again for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the video and some of the cards that you saw here. And please let me know if I forgot any of them. We can do another video, a supplemental video, of the other ugliest Michael Jordan cards of all time. Uh, keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby, and peace.